Well, I've not much to say today. So I'm going to read a bit of trivia that I looked at a while ago. The Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre um, on Tuesday, August the 22nd, 1911. And Papa Picasso was accused of stealing it and arrested for it. But he was never charged and it and the painting remained missing. It remained missing for several years until an art dealer received a letter about the whereabouts of the painting and arranged to meet a man by the name of Leonardo who claimed to have possession of it. They did find the Mona Lisa, the one that is hanging in the Louvre that is, stashed in the false bottom of Leonardo's trunk and Leonardo was later arrested and he spent seven months behind bars. Now there's a bit of speculation that that Mona Lisa that is hanging in the Louvre isn't actually the real Mona Lisa that Leonardo da Vinci painted. And that would be pretty shocking considering how many people have gone there to, to see it in real life. Millions and millions of people. If I remember correctly, and this is off the top of my head, at the time the Mona Lisa was stolen, there was a lot of fake works of art around, um, copies of, of famous works, um, and they were pawned off as the real thing by art dealers, um, by corrupt art dealers and they got away with it quite a lot because well they were good fakes for starters and just I don't know how they managed to but you know they would supplant them for the real thing and then perhaps the dealers would keep the real works and the fakes would be installed in the museums one French gallery found that after renovating that 80 of its 140 famous paintings were actually fakes and at least 20% of works in Britain's major museums are thought to be fakes as well. So I suppose that means it's really hard to tell the difference between the real thing and fakes. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, and also it can happen the other way around where fake Rembrandts have been found to be the real thing and um, and then you hear stories of, uh, you know, works by, say, Picasso being found in an op shop and um, someone stumbling across it and buying it for, what, 20 bucks and... Turns out to be worth millions. So what does that mean then? Art is not worth anything. Well, it is. The artist is worth more than the art. Um, the origin is worth more than the product. The association is more valuable than the craftsmanship or the skill. So I didn't really want to talk about my painting. Um, but, well, I've been influenced by my watercolour work. I'm working acrylic here and I'm using the watercolour techniques with the acrylic paint and my very thin medium. And so learning to watercolor paint, which I'm really bad at still, has influenced me in my other work. And so it's been a good thing. It's a good thing to learn new skills. So there are fakes and there are forgeries. So what's the difference? A Fake is a work that's copying something. So it's copying a famous painting or an artist's work. 
Um, and it's not necessarily intended to deceive, but it's just a copy. And a forgery is made intentionally to deceive. So it's forged and passed off as the person who it's copied from. So I suppose there's a possibility that some of the fakes were actually commissioned by the artists themselves to help them build up their body of work. Perhaps get got their apprentices to, to paint them or part of the paintings. I wonder if I wonder if that's what they mean by fakes as opposed to forgeries which are deliberately created to deceive. I don't know. Picasso says good artists borrow uh, but great artists steal. And what he means by that is that the good artists are good at reproducing other artists' work. So they're great copiers, but a great artist steals the work and makes it their own. So they may make it better than the original work or innovate it into a new kind of work that's original again, but they've kind of got got the idea and using something of the other work to create this new thing. So it'd be a lot easier if I just had music that I could play, but I haven't got music. Um, I haven't quite worked out how to download stuff from a Spotify and then upload it onto this movie, iMovie Maker. So it's voice and sound effects for me. And maybe the sound of crickets and the occasional dog bark <laughs> and kitten meowing. Someone's at the door and stuff like that. Hello mother, this is your eldest and most favourite daughter. I have new shoes and they look better than yours.